our God and our Creator. You have been with us from generation to generation, in good times and in bad, in health and in times of illness. Decades after HIV and AIDS were discovered, the world's people continue to deal with the damn disease. It continues to burden our bodies and our spirits. Even today, so many of us feel so hopeless, ashamed. We mourn for the ways that our fears of others and our own fears and stigmas about this illness separate us from one another and from life. Unite us again. Unite us again. Unite us again. This stigma is a brokenness in our society. And we, your people, must step up and speak out. We remember those who have died and suffered. They were precious ones. We embrace those with HIV today. With HIV, we too embrace. We lift our voices in prayer. We call out to you. For the healing of our world, unite us again. Remind us that we are one. That just as we cannot be truly separated by life or death, neither shall we be separated by HIV and its cruel stigma. Like those in scripture who gathered at Bethesda's ancient pool for healing, like a man who had been ill for 38 years, like a woman weary of her body, broken and bleeding. We all call out for recovery and just care. Together we long for your healing touch, your word. Unite us again. Unite us again. Unite us again. We are not discouraged. We will not give up. We will not deny that we are your children. We are your children. You are our God. No more disgrace, just grace. Until there is a cure, until no bodies are broken by HIV, we will stand together against shame, against marginalization. And with all the strength that we have left, we stand for hope. We walk together with you, lifted up, and lifting all who suffer, free to fully live, changing hearts and minds of your people, by your power and in your love, by your power and in your love, by your power and in your love, we pray. Amen. 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 Amen.